Ice cream lover Steve Christensen's my name, the self-appointed headmaster of Scoob School down here, St. Louis, Missouri. Actually, we're a little bit west of St. Louis, Missouri, in the city of Wildwood. Sounds very uh, wild west, Wildwood. Look, thanks for joining us here. We're talking a little bit about extraction temperatures and extraction firmness. It can affect the quality of your ice cream quite dramatically. Before we jump into that, I do want to thank our episode sponsor, which is Purdy Products, makers of Sterachine. I've got a packet right here. Well, I don't have a packet. I've got one of these tubs. We use it all the time to sanitize our machines, to clean our machines. It's also a milkstone remover, would you believe it? Purdy Products, they make Sterachine. The link is down below. Do not use bleach in your machine. This is probably the most popular cleaner and sanitizer on the market. Uh, the link is down below. Tell Paul Hussmuller and the crew that we said hello when you speak to the folks at Sterachine. Again, the link is down below. We thank them for their episode sponsorship. Okay, now we're broadcasting here. I'm standing in front of our trusty Electrofreeze batch freezer. Got my Taylor soft serve machine beside me here. It's unusual in an ice cream shop to have a lot of different varieties of machines and multiple machines. Uh, but we have three batch freezers. We got four soft serve machines and a custard machine because we do classes here. We teach you how to get into the business. But we get a lot of questions, particularly on the batch freezer, about how firm do I extract my product out? Now, the process of soft serve and custard is pretty well formatted by the manufacturer. When you pull on that handle on a soft serve machine, you're pretty well going to get a product coming out at about 18 to let's say 20 degrees. And that will give you a nice firm product. Same with custard. You get to regulate custard a little bit, but it's gonna be around about that temperature zone. Now, your batch freezer here, there's a lot more flexibility as to how and the temperature that you can extract the product out. How firm it will be, how cool or frozen it will be. And I see all of the time, particularly on online, videos people extracting product out and it's almost liquid so the challenge of that is that when you open up this front gate here and your product comes out the softer it is yes it's easier to fold through products if you're doing a cookies and cream you're extracting your product out of the batch freezer and it comes out almost liquid uh, you've got a lot more flexibility and softness if that's a term softness to fold your product in but the downside is that you've lost structure and you've lost overrun because the dasher hasn't churned and frozen this product enough to where you've got some structure to it. What ends up happening is you get a much denser product. You don't get the volume or the yield out of your mix that you probably should be getting. And it's very, very tough when you're doing a ribbon or a variegate. So what's the alternative? Well, you can wait for that dasher and the freezing process to go a little bit longer, a minute, two minutes longer. And next thing you're pulling a product out that actually is quite firm, that you can stick a spatula up in it and it kind of sticks straight up. Now the beauty of that is that you've got a little bit more overrun to it, a little bit more structure to the bucket, uh, and the product is firm enough that if you're folding in product, or particularly looking at a variegate or a ribbon, uh, whether it be a strawberry swirl or a caramel swirl, you're not going to lose it, it won't settle uh, in the product while it's gone in the batch freezer or even just the store storage freezer. So th the challenge is a lot of times it's up to you as the ice cream maker as to how firm or how soft you extract this product out. The pros and cons are if you pull it out soft, what's going to happen is you'll lose structure. It might collapse a little bit more in the freezer, easy to fold in particulates. I kind of lean more towards the firm side. Yes, it's a little bit harder to kind of fold through product, but I feel it kind of keeps the structure a little bit better. Look, the best thing you can do is grab a probe thermometer and just kind of have a look at the extraction temperatures. You should, while you're in the process of developing recipes, just put a probe thermometer there as the product is coming out or even in the bucket as soon as it's come out 
to give you an idea as to what temperature that is because you'll also find that different flavors, extract, pastes, purees will change the freezing point and you might find that the timing that you used for your vanilla doesn't work for your cheesecake flavor. So anyway, your call as to how firm you pull it out, I feel as though a lot of ice cream owners or manufacturers should be extracting a little bit more firmer than what they are. You don't want to go too firm because you can actually butter out the product and in some cases overturn and freeze the barrel up, which is an absolute nightmare. So somewhere in the middle of too soft and too hard is the sweet spot. Experiment with it. It's going to change every single flavor, which is a challenge, but I know that you are up to it. You should have a couple of these, calibrate them well. Every time you're making your ice cream products, it should be in your little toolkit here. Just have a quick sample of what that temperature is. You may want to record it as the product is coming out. Important to do from a food safety standpoint. I'm interested to hear from you. What do you feel uh, your extraction process is like? Do you feel as though you could firm it up? Do you feel sometimes you've got it too firm and you can't fold things through? We'd love to hear from you in the comments down below. We'd also love for you to click like and subscribe also. That's personal preference. Thanks again for Purdy Products and Sterachine for sponsoring this video. And again, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave a comment down below. We'd love to be able to answer them and maybe even do a video. Thanks for tuning in. Keep on scooping. We'll see you in the next video.